Sportsbit is powered by Bet Online, driving the opening odds market since 2001. Visit sportsbookreview.com to learn more about Bet Online and its A plus rated platform in the link below. Big game breakdown, the NFC championship game here on Sportsbit. Vikings against the Eagles, Minnesota. Three point road chalk. We've seen some over money over the course of the last 24 hours. Total now sitting in the 39 range. So some 38 and a half out there, but I'm going to call it 39 as the prevailing number. And part of the reason, at least, why this total's been bet up. Look at the weather forecast for Philadelphia in January. A night game in January. Low 50s, not much wind. As good conditions as anybody could ask for for either squad. All right, so the big mainstream story here is two backup quarterbacks, Case Keenum versus Nick Foles. And I wouldn't, you know, yes, both guys started the season as backups. I'd call them more journeymen than backups. And you look at the tail of the tape, you say, is there any real difference between these two QBs? Look at the numbers. Foles, Foles had one full season as a starter. Case is only, uh, Keenum has been only started parts of seasons. And, Ke- and Foles, of course, had that one season the first season that Chip Kelly was running a unique offense in which he put up outlier numbers. He had like one of the highest QB ratings in NFL history for that one season. So really, we should probably downgrade Foles numbers a little bit from here. But when you look at the numbers, they're pretty comparable. You know, both guys averaging seven point yards per pass in their careers. Very comparable passer rating, very comparable interception numbers, although Foles has had a lot more opportunities to throw interceptions than Keenum. The bottom line is these two QBs pretty even at the tail of the tape. So we say, all right, who's going to be better off in the big game? Well, Case Keenum was not good in the big game last week. Let's be real. He screwed up badly twice. Back-to-back plays in the third quarter turned the game from potentially 20 to nothing into 17 to 14. The first time, you know, this is a play that he hasn't got any grief for. Lost out of field goal range. They were third and four at the Saints 30. They're up 17 to nothing at that contest. And he took a sack in a spot you can't take a sack. You really can't. You got to throw the ball away. Instead, they uh, don't get the field goal opportunity. They get the ball back at 17 to seven. First play back in the field, bad interception under pressure. So you say, all right, how much does that matter? Well, how much does one play matter statistically? How about this? Case Keenum before the game-winning touchdown pass to Stephon Diggs. Case Keenum after. (laughs) 15-point differential. And his uh, passer rating just for the game, just from that one play, that obviously, you know, (laughs) had something to do with uh, what the Saints did defensively. So, you know, sometimes we want to take these numbers with a little bit of a grain of salt. Case Keenum screwed up pretty big last week, twice at home in what's supposed to be positive situations for the Minnesota quarterback. That being said, not like Nick Foles has been good. You know, he's only been competent. <laughs> uh, I guess Atlanta last week, I guess we'll call it good enough. But when we look at the confidence of that Eagles offense and the play calling for Philadelphia right now, it's not what it was when Carson Wentz was behind center. So we say, all right, I don't really trust either of these two quarterbacks. What about the defenses? <laughs> look at the graphic right here. You know, both teams, elite Defensive numbers, top quartile against the rush, top quartile against the pass, top quartile overall. And in fact, against the pass and overall, we're talking about two top five defenses. So you wonder if either quarterback's going to be able to make plays against this class of defense. Case Keenum faced two top 10 defenses on the road. Those games were ugly. Passer rating of 71.2. We took eight sacks in those contests. Foles, he hasn't really faced a major defensive challenge as a starter yet. You know, we came in against a Rams defense that was pretty good, but he came in off the bench in that ballgame and LA wasn't ready for it. He just chucked it around. Since they've been game planning for Foles, he hasn't faced an elite defense yet. So you wonder, is this situation a situation where both coaches are going to play conservatively, dare the other side to try to make a play? This feels like the kind of game that whoever makes the first mistake is in trouble. I definitely lean under in this contest, but there's an over I want to bet as well. When you talk about props, and we don't talk about props a ton here on Sportsbit, but when you talk about props, I'm looking for anything I can find with these kickers over the total. Over field goals, over longest field goal, 
et cetera, et cetera. If you look at the numbers, these are two good kickers, and Jake Elliott and Kai Korbach. These two coaches that will be very willing to settle for three in this ball game. When you look at the numbers from beyond 50 yards, these two guys combined to hit 11 out of 15. Take a look. Some of those field goal props, some of those kicker props. That's the over that's going to cash in this ball game. I will predict a relatively low scoring final score. More big game breakdowns coming up next. NBA on TNT doubleheader right here on Sportsbit. Betting insight today from SPR Pick.com. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.